Hey friends, I love using grapevine wreath forms and putting deco mesh and ribbon on my forms. Now this particular uh, sign is a happy Easter metal sign, but I just want to give you the idea because this can be incorporated for other seasons and other home decor. Okay, what I start with is an 18 inch grapevine form and I like to get mine at Hobby Lobby. The wire that I use is a 16 gauge tie wire that my husband gets me over at Lowe's. Okay, this is the metal sign that I'm using from Hobby Lobby. Uh, the 10 inch uh, deco mesh that I'm using is cut at 12 inches and I got this particular mesh at Hobby Lobby. So to attach my uh, mesh I just use some pipe cleaners and I just kind of alternate uh, like a tic-tac-toe pattern you maybe have heard me refer to that because it's kind of like this and that this is that like I go inner outer inner outer and I use um, I cut this at 12 inches and I'm using uh, like the technique is kind of like a ruffle cruffle it's like a curl and a ruffle mixed kind of like a cruffle and uh, so my big clips these particular clips I got at the Dollar Tree and um, what I do guys is I just bend over one end and I clip it to hold then I bend over the other end like two times then I um, you know uh, uh, ruffle it in the middle and then the clip holds it until I get ready to use it okay depending on which mesh I want on top I will then you know kind of crisscross them or, or do an X and then I will attach the pipe cleaners to the grapevine just you know just thread it through the the grapevine and then I'll um, attach it just a hole now I'm not going to do it very tight because I'm going to open that pipe cleaner back up to uh, include my ribbon I used seven bundles of these two mesh together uh, for this 18 inch grapevine wreath <music> Once I have my mesh on my form, then I will put on my greenery garland. This greenery garland I got at Walmart. And what I use is this wire that I get from the Dollar Tree. And I just cut little, uh, you know, two to three inch pieces. And then that is what I use to wire the grapevine. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the uh, greenery garland on to the wreath form. That's why I like using these grapevine forms because of the, you know, space. And so depending on which grapevine form I use, that's why I like the ones from Hobby Lobby. I've also had success from the ones uh, from Michael's. Now other places may have them as well, but uh, I just kind of share where I get mine that I like the most. To attach the sign, I just use just whatever hole or whatever, um, you know, attachment that I can use. I just position it uh, in the, on the grapevine and just kind of attach it with wire. Now, these are the ribbons that I'm using for this particular wreath. Uh, now, the, um, let's see, that orange uh, this one right here is from Hobby Lobby. I measured it out 20 inches and that is what I'm going to make a bow. The loops are about three inches, uh, you know, um, inches in width. And so then uh, I just take my tiny attacher, my little staple. If you've been following me for any length of time, you know that that is my favorite uh, tool because it just helps with my wreath making, it's just a personal preference. I can make these bows and then I can have my ribbon cut. Uh, the ribbon um, 
is the pattern one is from craft outlet the burlap is from michael's um, that's all two and a half inch uh, in width and I measured them out at 12 inches. I just used my perfect tails uh, board just to wrap around and cut um, you know cut them at 12 inches then I dovetailed them. Then now I'm making my bows uh, because I'm going to show you how I'm going to put the ribbon on the wreath and uh, then I can kind of do like an assembly line and this works uh, for me. So I just crisscross the ribbons. I'm using three ribbons and I figure out which one I want uh, on the bottom and which ones I want on top. And then I just crisscross them and then I make them all together like that. And then I will attach them onto the, uh, you know, in the pipe cleaners onto the wreath. And so as you can see, this is kind of what helps me when I have everything ready to go. Um, every wreath maker, you know, does their, their groove, does what works for me may not work for you. What works for you doesn't work for me. Um, what you saw me do is once I got my um, bow in there, I cut off the uh, pipe cleaner, you know, where it's not sticking out too much. And um, I uh, use my needle nose pliers and kind of bend it over. And then I use hot glue to kind of seal it. And uh, I use the Gorilla Glue Sticks uh, that I get at Walmart or any craft store. Amazon also has them. They're in my Amazon store uh, if you can't, you know, find them. Uh, but that's what I do is I just cut off the excess of the pipe cleaner and I seal it with some hot glue so that everything stays nice and tucked in very, um, you know, all together. Uh, so I've, I'm at this point where um, I'm going to add some flour flowers and uh, this calla lily little yellow flower bunch is so pretty I got them at Walmart and uh, I just love them I just cut them off and just stuck them in uh, in the grapevine I, of course I secured them with some glue and uh, it's just so pretty so I used seven bundles of the ribbons um, and just sporadically put them around onto this particular wreath uh, that is for Easter but I just wanted to share how I do my grapevine wreaths because you can change it out for you know the sign and for each ribbon uh, you know just whatever is going to match your season or your decor all right guys thanks so much for watching check out my page uh, or my youtube channel for other wreath ideas y'all have a great day and god bless